What's up, y'all? It's Celeste. I've been taking Accutane for about four months now, so here's my update. My last update was at the two-month mark, and quite a bit has happened in the last couple of months. Not that there's a lot to say about it, but um, I've just cleared up quite a lot in the last couple of months, and I'll just go ahead and show you the comparison picture so you can see for yourself. So I was already pretty impressed with the improvement that I saw within the first couple of months, but at this point, um, within the last like month and a half or so, um, I've pretty much had nothing going on in my face other than I still have red marks left over from previous breakouts that I've had. Those are still there. They are fading um, over time, but they are still there, and um, I've had like one bump pop up, which was about a month ago. Other than that, I really haven't had anything that would qualify as acne, um, so it's just been amazing. Um, I haven't had skin this clear in a long time, and if it actually stays this way and if I don't get any kind of like recurring, um, reoccurring acne after I finish my Accutane treatment, then I will just be like absolutely thrilled. I couldn't be happier with how things are right now. Um, and mostly what I'm feeling is like, why didn't anybody prescribe this for me 20 years ago when I could have done it then and never had to worry about it again and not had to spend a million dollars on dermatology stuff. But um, anyway, I'm glad that I'm doing it now. So um, the main side effect that I've had this whole time has been dryness and that has continued. Um, and really at this point, that's really the only side effect that I have. I haven't really had anything else new come up and some of the other things that I had um, haven't really been a problem anymore. I don't know if they just kind of faded away or maybe like one or two things, maybe I just kind of got used to them. But um, mostly I don't really have any side effects. I haven't had any mood stuff. I haven't, um, the flushing that I was having on my face is pretty much gone. I think I still get a, a tiny bit, but it's not at all like it was. Um, I haven't had any like pains or muscle aches or anything like that. Um, since early on, I had that for a brief period, but other than that, I haven't really had anything like that. Um, so it's mostly just dryness. Up until recently, all the dryness was pretty much just on my face and my ears started to get really dry and at one point, I think it was about like a month and a half ago, um, I my ears started to get really dry to the point where they were constantly irritated where I have my earlobes pierced um, three times. And, um, well actually I have them pierced four times, but I have three that are actually in use. And they got so irritated that I actually took out my earrings and I'm still like every day or so, I'm still like putting an earring through every hole so that they stay open, but in order to have them have the earrings in them all the time, it was just they were irritated and also I'm having to put so much um, lotion on my ears because they're so dry that it was just kind of a pain because then the, the jewelry would get all greasy and stuff. And so it's just way easier just to have them out. Um, the cartilage piercings aren't a problem because I haven't been like moisturizing those areas. Those areas aren't getting really bad. I have had some like kind of flaking of the skin in some areas, but it's not bad enough that I feel like I need to constantly moisturize around those piercings and they haven't been irritated. I also got some more flakiness on my face and um, just to kind of describe that, sometimes it would be just kind of flaky skin like you would expect flaky skin to look like. And then other times um, I've had like little, almost like little dents in my face, like where the very top layer of skin is missing, but it's only in little spots which is kind of weird. And that hasn't been painful or anything, it's just kind of annoying. And then just within the last like week or so, I've started to get a little bit dry on my torso. Um, there's not really anything I can show you, but it's just kind of um, like when your skin gets dry and it's sort of itching and just kind of feeling irritated. That's what I've been having. It started, it's mostly on like the sides of my torso and then um, kind of like along where my hip bones are. So I just have these kind of patches of dryness that I keep um, scratching and just like like mindlessly scratching and then sometimes I'll like wake up in the middle of the night and I'll realize I've been scratching there. So I'm trying to keep that really moisturized too. I haven't really had any increase in dryness over pretty much the rest of my body which is really interesting because I tend to have fairly dry skin on my body. It's mostly just been my face that's been pretty oily um, and even that it's like combination skin. So I don't know, that's been kind of surprising. Um, the amount of dryness that I've had has been annoying, but it hasn't really been as bad as I expected. I thought it was gonna be really bad. I thought I was gonna be like in pain from things cracking and just like, 
I don't know, I just thought it would be really bad, but it hasn't really been that bad. And part of that might be the fact that I live in Florida, even though it has been winter, which is drier here, it's still nothing compared to a lot of other places where they don't have the humidity that we have here. So that probably has worked in my favor. Um, so I went back to the dermatologist uh, yesterday and um, we're, we're keeping me at 60 milligrams. I started at 40, I was only on 40 for the first month and then I moved up to 60 and I've been on that for the last three months. Staying on that for now, I'm probably just gonna stay on that for the rest of my treatment because she also said that um, I'm probably only gonna be having to take Accutane for another month, maybe another month after that just to be safe. But um, basically the way Accutane works is that there's a certain cumulative amount that your body needs to kind of build up to um, based on your weight. So there's not like a set amount for everybody, it's dependent on your weight. And once you get up to that point, then that's when the treatment is over. So we figured out uh, yesterday based on what I'm taking so far and my weight now, and she determined that it would probably be another month and I probably would be done with the treatment then, but then I probably would stay on for another month, depending on how things go, just because she wants to make sure that like we don't finish too early and then it comes back in a few months. So um, that's where things are and I'm really happy with, with everything. I'm so glad that I'm doing this. I Like I said, I wish that I had done it a long time ago. I have no complaints. Um, I heard all kinds of horror stories about Accutane before I started taking it and I'm not discounting those because those are real things that, that people deal with, but for me it hasn't been anything like that. It's been pretty easy. I mean, it's been a little bit annoying, but not really any more than a lot of other medications that I've been on that have had much worse side effects for me personally. So um, yeah, it's been great and um, I'm always happy to answer any questions that you might have so you can leave them in the comments below. Um, and that's about it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see more of my future content and I will be making another update um, probably at the time that I finish my Accutane treatment because that'll be in a month or two um, and I don't think there's going to be much else to say before that. So um, if you have anything you want me to talk about during that, uh, that hopefully kind of wrap up um, video that I'm going to make about my whole Accutane experience, let me know and, um, and keep watching so, you'll, so you won't miss that. So hit the notification bell, make sure that you don't miss it. And uh, yeah, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.